Now, for everybody who's starting out and who's gone to a coffee shop, there will be a question that will be asked, what grind size do you want? Now, don't get thrown off by that. What the brewer or the roaster or anybody at the cafe means to ask you is, how are you going to brew the coffee? And how fine or coarse should I make this beans too? Because whole beans you're not going to brew. You need a powder form, right? Of the shelf coffees that you've got, there won't be any option of, there won't be much option of the grind size and all those things. But there will be something written over there like grind size for espresso, grind size for southern filter, all those things. But again, coming back to the situation where you went to the cafe and then the person asked you, okay, you like this coffee, you want to buy the coffee, but do you want whole beans or do you want it ground? And if you want it ground, to what grind size? So the person only intends to ask how you're going to brew it. The reason is you cannot use a coarse coffee, coarse grind size coffee and brew an espresso out of it. You can't. It'll just be water. And at the same time, you cannot use super fine coffee used for espresso and use it for French press because then the mesh filter will get blocked and the taste is not going to come out. So you need to know the grind size, basically, as to which grind size do you want to use it for, uh, which brewing method you're going to use it for. So that is basically the entire point of like why you need to know the grind size. So you just need to find out what kind of brewing equipment you want. Uh, you have and you can just select the grind size accordingly. Now, when we speak about the grind size, what we are talking about is basically there's one bean. It has got, let's say, four sides, for example. When I divide it into two parts, there's going to be half, two halves, right? So four sides and four sides, or maybe more. I divide it further. So the surface areas that way are increasing. That is what I have educated myself about coffee in that your surface area will increase the finer you go the coarser you go the surface area will be smaller so larger surface area which is fine grind needs lesser duration for it to be extracted smaller surface area means coarser grind needs longer duration for it to be extracted now how much difference does it make between point like a little bit of uh, moving of the grinder a huge little bit fine versus fine is a huge difference all right when you go into the technicality in the professional aspect of coffee it will affect a lot so for the people who are already into coffee and who are prepping for the championships aeropress barista or however or are cupping at home try to cup coffees at different grind sizes that is something which is very very important what usually i would recommend is that try to cup the coffee at the coarsest and then start reducing that towards a little finer till the time you don't get into the cupping uh, cupping grind size the reason is you'll get all different experiences of coffee in the same uh, batch speaking about a championship when you want to have your grind size uh, set to a particular when you want to set your grind size to a particular brewing recipe uh, that becomes extremely difficult for you because that becomes very important for you to know what kind of grinder are you using on many grinders one notch is going to be like a huge difference in many grinders just 0.25 centi or maybe lesser like from 8 to point uh, to 8.3 is going to be like a huge difference so you need to know what kind of grinder you're using you need to know what kind of grind size you exactly want to have and keep brewing the coffee in that grind size as much as you want to the factor of time when you've got like a grind side fixated you want to see how much time it took for a coffee to brew Time will just be a number. You don't have to be following somebody saying that you got to brew a coffee in two and a half minutes or you got to pull out a espresso in 30 seconds. There's no thumb rule. You set your grind size, taste the coffee. If you like it, then you find out what time the coffee is coming out for. So that's all about grind size. I think that's one of the aspects that people forget a lot. And having a good grinder at home, good grinder at the cafe is the most important thing.